and a pleasant afternoon to y'all. How you doing? I am out here in a familiar spot. Uh, actually, if you if you know the saguaro cactus, uh, you probably know where I'm at because this is only found in a very small region of the country. Actually, only in this southern part of Arizona and a little bit in northern Mexico as well. But none in California and none over in New Mexico. This this cactus is, is very native to this part of the country. And I'm here at one of my favorite state parks in the country here in Arizona. This is Picacho Peak. That is Picacho, wait, yes, that is Picacho Peak right there. That mountain range there. I first visited this park in 2014 and I loved it. I fell in love with it. I came in and read the spelling of the park and I said at the counter, I think I even said in my video, welcome to Pikachu peak because it's spelled very similar but uh, later learned from my loving viewers that it, it is Picacho Peak here the famous rock formation. These uh, saguaro cactuses can actually live to be 150 years old and here in this part of Arizona defacing or damaging a saguaro cactus is a federal offense. They really really try to protect this species of plant life here. Not all of the cactuses grow the uh, arm appendages out but uh, it's believed that every single arm they grow accounts for another 10 years of life. So this one we're looking at here could be 40 years total. This one over here is going on 50, 60? Yeah, 60 years old. And then we've got a couple babies. <laughs> a baby there, a couple babies over there. It's always interesting to me that when you get up close, they really do not look green at all. They just look dark brown up close. But from far away, I mean, tell me that doesn't look green. It, it always looks green. It's weird. So I made a reservation, a couple of reservations for, for two nights here at Picacho Peak. It's $30 a night and they have electric on site. They also have garbage facilities, a dump station and potable water on your way in or out here. It's a really peaceful spot. The uh, saguaro cactus is my third favorite tree in the country. Behind my number two is the palm tree of the south and my favorite tree, of course, is the native uh, evergreen fir back home. Very few of the campsites in here really have their own saguaro cactus. I only knew this site because I've been here before and I've walked around and looked at which ones actually have a, a cactus on site. But I'm here in C15, it's a good spot. And I put Joey over here at C14. She's in there editing video or doing something. Yeah, we're getting ready to go to quartzite though. And forgive me, I, my body is having, I'm sweating because I'm not used to this. I mean, I should be, but still, in the winter, it's 75 degrees today here. I got the air conditioner running on the RV. It's just crazy. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm trying to spend as much time outside as possible, but I also got some projects inside the RV to do before we get out of here. Uh, hey, real quick though, this just a quick message for like Chevy or uh, mechanic people that know about anything about a 2000 Chevy Express 3500 band, I'm having a problem. I set my alarm in the before I go to bed and then what's happening nearly every single night at least once, sometimes five different times, my master alarm goes off. Like no warning, no trigger saying, hey, somebody bumped it, the master alarm. And I figured out what was going on the other night because I was sitting in here at the stove and all of a sudden the dome light kicked on for absolutely no reason. Had the alarm been on right then, as soon as that dome light goes on, the master alarm is gonna go on. And I was like, what the heck? My front doors are closed. I don't understand why it was happening. And like I said, this is happening five times a night sometimes in the middle of the night, just coming on for no reason. It leads me to think that there is a problem with one of the two front doors because I checked all of the other connections and nothing happens. But where's the door trigger that turns on the light? You know, I did some research online. Where is the door dome light trigger switch thing? And I saw a picture of what it looks like for the 2000 Chevy Express. I don't have one of those though. That's what's really baffling. So you go all around the frame here. There's absolutely nothing, right? You come over here. This is just a, a screw right here. There's nothing behind this. There's another screw right there. These are just screws. There's no, there's no buttons. There's no nothing anywhere along the edge, anywhere along the door along the bottom. Oh, this is just a rubber gas. There's nothing in here. It's just a rubber gasket here. I pulled off this round thing. It's just empty inside here. And there's another rubber thing there with nothing there. There is nothing here. There is no door pin. So 
makes me wonder if it's something built inside the actual latch here. Let me show you something. I can't believe I'm so baffled by this. We'll, we'll wait till the uh, dome light goes off inside. I just don't understand. I can't find it. And online, they're saying me, they're saying that, I, that they'll, they'll sell me a little door pin. I'm like, where would I even put it? There's no, okay, the, the dome light's off. So if I just try to I'll hold the door closed, but use my thumb to pull this. See that, did, that's my phone ringer going off. The, did not set off the dome light. So it's not in the latch, right? Let me go to the other side. All right. I do the same thing over here. That's not setting off the dome light. And if I open it, about a quarter inch now, about a half inch right there, turned on. Same thing for the passenger side, about a half inch and it'll turn on. So my question becomes, where, anywhere, can anybody please <laughs> direct me and tell me where the heck is the door pin switch for the dome light? I, I, I don't see it. I wouldn't even know what to clean or repair or replace or fix but it is absolutely just beyond me. I actually called Viper um, and they said there's nothing they can do. They think it's a, it's a Chevy problem. They won't even look at it under warranty for my alarm. I'm like, you guys, my alarm's useless. I'm, it's just going off nonstop all night while I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> so I called Wayne just to see if he had any suggestions. And now I got Joey over here just to make sure I'm not crazy, right? He's I desperate. mean, He's actually, desperate. she brought up a really good point. I thought, well, maybe because the, if the, it's underneath the rubber, because right. just as you lift it, it like a half inch. So I'm still holding out for I think something's under the rubber. But but I you know I felt all around it three times and I can't find any button. I also find it interesting that all the auto parts store will sell me the normal looking pin. What is that? That's just hollow. You can take that off and but it's is just there a hole. A sensor? No, there's nothing under there's there. There's nothing under there. So see, there's there's nothing under there. There's no pin. It's just a hall. I don't even know what it was for, but it's just a mechanical thing. It should be not a, a an electronic right, but the pin, thing. The correct? pin they want me to put in. Like we even looked at, at Joey's, and she has the pin, the same pin that O'Reilly's wants to sell me. And it's like, where would I put that, guys? So. The latch is the only thing that I think is left. As far as let me see, how would I? Let me try and close that latch. Okay, let me close the latch, and then in. What, how long does it take? 30 seconds, there, snap. Uh, if it goes off in 30 seconds, I have solved your problem. I don't know how you'd get a pin, but that's why I was asking, I, that's why I was pushing on the latch itself. Well, I, it just went off. There it is. Oh You're, welcome. You're welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. Yeah, oh you know. my gosh. So anyone at the RTR, if they need any help. Whoa. <laughs> just let bring. Oh, <laughs> so we've got some kind of pin built into the latch. It's a sensor, yeah. It's, it's, oh. And then it's back on. Okay, so yeah, that's my problem. I don't know how to get, I don't know where the pin is inside here or what. I, I know the latch has something to do with this. So I'm going to use WD 40 and just kind of give it a good spray in there on both sides. Oh. Just, oh. I don't need any. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, just, to, just to make sure that it's uh, all working properly in there. I'll turn the alarm on here tonight, overnight, and see if that uh, uh, changes anything, see if the master alarm goes off overnight. I guess I can't make it on my own. I need a woman in my life to help me figure stuff out. It's good though, because sometimes sometimes you just can't see things clearly and it helps to get a second pair of eyes and hands on something. So we'll see what happens overnight. It is nice to hang out with somebody out here and Joey, she's cool. Um, remember when I went to Mineral Wells and got the crazy water? Maybe I should bless her RV a little bit because if you're looking for this RV in Quartzsite, I'll show you a couple things that might help you identify it. Look for the white duct tape all over the place see those compartments here let's 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 bless it a little bit right there and heal it yeah there we go there yeah duct tape everywhere oh on the back we got some bad duct tape right there and get it right there yeah all the way up the side just uh flapping in the wind there with the tape that that's how you know you got joey's rv let's see if this work right here there we go yeah yeah all right i did the best i could good luck joey I know what you're thinking, Eric, we already saw Joey's video four days ago. You're lying to us. 
like I said, I'm on delay, guys. It's all good. I got everything worked out. Going to work on my tooth, but in my very next video, I will be in Quartzsite, Arizona, and I will for sure share some more information with you then about how I'm going about getting my tooth fixed and, and how I will be hanging out with people and where I will be for RTR. So if you're coming down, hey, I really, really can't wait to see you guys. Uh, more information to come. Have a great night. Jackson and I will see you in a couple days. Bye-bye.